Hello, everyone. Welcome to this session of NetSuite and creating reversing journal entries. So we will be showing you how to log in and create the reversing entries. We'll show you how to fill out the primary information and explain the reversing journal entry date and even show you how to find the journal entry at the end when you're done. So log on to your NetSuite account and go to Transaction, Financial, Make Entries. It's actually the same process as making a normal journal entry. So what you will see is a blank journal entry form. And similar to before, we want to select our subsidiary, the set of books that we're going to enter this in. We're going to type comments in the memo field so we remember what this journal entry is about. And we'll also enter the date of the journal entry the posting period when we want the journal entry to post which period it's in and then you'll see the reversal date that's the only difference between this and a manual journal entry and so then you can select the reversal date so what is a reversal date and what is a defer entry when you click into the help field it explains what a reversal date is it says, if this journal entry is intended to be reversed, enter the date for the reversing entry to be posted. So that's simple enough, enter the date. The next part is a little more confusing. If deferred date is checked, this field is mandatory. Well then, your next question is, what is a deferred entry? So when you look, look into the help field for defer entry, it says, Check this box to make the reversal a memorized transaction that automatically occurs on the date entered in the required reversal field. Clear this box to make the reversal an immediately entered transaction with the date in the reversal field. This is a little confusing, so we'll actually show you a transaction and what that means. In our example, our journal entry date is March 31st. It's going to post on March in the March 2016 period. We've put the reversal date as April 1st. So the next day when it's the next reporting period, we want it to reverse. And now the defer entry click button. By checking the deferred entry button, it means that we have to resubmit this reversal journal entry in order for it to post in the GL on April 1st. So let me re -exp explain it differently. If you don't check the defer entry, the system will automatically reverse this journal entry. By clicking deferred entry, you basically have to re-approve or have to find that journal entry again in the April close to approve it. Similar to creating a manual journal entry, we have to select our GL accounts. So in this case, we're going to select an expense. Usually it's expenses that need to be reversed because for accrual purposes. And we're going to pick advertising expense. And now we're going to enter our debit amount, which is 5,000, the memo field carried over. We're going to not enter anything in the name field. And our department, we're going to pick marketing. And location, we've just typed in Boston. Now, this is a simple journal entry. So we're actually just going to copy the previous, copy previous button, which basically copies all the details from the previous uh, line over for us. And now we're ready to enter for the, the credit line. So we'll have to select our GL accounts for the credit line. In this case, we're going to select our current liabilities. And from our current liability category, you can now select accrued expenses. And now we have that line we're ready to go. So the expense was advertising for the debit and now credit is accrued expenses. And we will delete debit because it'll come up with the debit 
field. If we delete that and press tab, it will automatically populate the credit field with 5,000 so that this journal entry can balance. And now you have a journal entry that is 5,000 on the debit, 5,000 on the credit, and you hit save. Now you, the journal entry has been successfully saved. How do you find that reversing entry? How do you make sure that your reversing entry is actually in the system? Go to Transaction, Financial, Make Journal Entries, and then select List. And once you select List, you could actually open it in a new tab so that you can see it easily. Now in the new tab, you can see the journal entry we just entered, and you can see that it was posted on April 1st, but it's pending approval. It hasn't posted yet. It's pending approval. So now we can actually look into the details and make sure that it's correct. The It's now reverse of what we entered. It's debiting the accrued expense and it's crediting advertising expense and it also says it's a reversal journal entry for us. And you can see the amounts and that journal entry is the actual opposite of what we entered and it's a reversing journal entry. That's how simple this can be in NetSuite. Thanks so much, and we'll talk to you in the future.